Are you using ClickFunnels but want to maximize revenue from contacts? If so, keep watching this short video. ClickFunnels is perfect for creating landing pages, building sales funnels, and tons more. But how do we keep people connected with our brand after they opt into our offers? Well, today we'll explain how ClickFunnels users are growing their brands by converting contacts into lifelong customers. And spoiler alert, anyone can do this. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we turn regular contacts into diehard fans? Well, the answer is simple. You see, you can drive more sales by automatically adding ClickFunnels contacts into your own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected with your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, you can start an online community around the brand, allow contacts to have profiles and interact with each other, send promo newsletters to your subscribers, and best of all, you can show off the size of the brand that you've worked so hard to build. So... Let's dive into the fun stuff, sending ClickFunnels user data into a Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind, this will also work with other integration platforms like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we have a ClickFunnels opt-in form to register for a new offer. Now in this example, what we're gonna do is we are going to fill out the opt-in form as a brand new user. Then we are going to automatically create a user profile for that user in our brand's member community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here is a preview of what that member community website looks like. And as you can see here, we have just 90 results of different members inside of our community. So to set this up, the very first thing that we want to do is we want to head over here to Zapier, get logged in, and then we are going to create a Zap. Now, once this loads up, we are going to search for ClickFunnels as the trigger. So we're going to search on ClickFunnels here. And then for the event, we are going to do new contact activity. And then we are going to click on continue. From here, we need to connect our ClickFunnels account. So I'm going to click on change here and connect a new account. And once we do that, it's going to open up this pop-up window here, and it's going to ask us to log in with our email and our password for ClickFunnels. So go ahead, enter your email, your password, and click on Log In. And once we have that connected, we are going to click on Continue. And then for the trigger here, we have All Funnels, All Funnel Steps. We are going to continue once again. And then we are going to test the trigger just to make sure it works, make sure it is connected to our ClickFunnels successfully. As we can see, it found a contact. So now all we have to do is click on continue. So next, we want to connect this now as an action to our Brilliant Directories. So we're going to search for Brilliant Directories and select that. For the event, we are going to create a user. And then we are going to click on continue. Next up, we need to choose our account. So we are going to click on choose and we're going to go ahead and connect a new account here. That's going to open up another pop-up window. And this one is going to ask us for our website URL as well as our API key. Now for the API key, you can actually click on this little hyperlink here and that's going to open up the API details page where we can actually create our API key inside of Brilliant Directories. So that's going to redirect us to this page. And now from here in the top right hand corner, we are going to click on generate API key. Then we're going to give this a nickname. I'm just going to call mine ClickFunnels dash Zapier and click on save API key. Now, once we save it, it's going to create it automatically and we can go ahead and copy it by clicking that little copy icon right there. And then we can close out of this window and then we can reopen that pop up window and then just paste in the API key that we just created. Next up, we need to add our website URL. To do that, we're going to go back to our Brilliant Directories website. And up here in the top right hand, once again, we are going to click on Visit Website, which is this little orange button up here. Now, once I click on Visit Website, that's going to open up our Brilliant Directories website. And all we have to do is actually just copy the URL from the address bar here at the top. And then we jump back here and we paste in that URL. Now we only need the website URL up to .com. So we can delete anything after .com. So I'm gonna delete home and the trailing slash there. All right, so once we have that added, we are going to click on yes, continue to Brilliant Directories. And let Zapier go ahead and connect to our account. And now back inside of Zapier, we can see we have the ClickFunnels-Zapier account connected. So we are going to select that, 
then we are going to click on continue. Now for the action, we are going to quickly map together any user data that we are collecting inside of the ClickFunnels signup. We can link it together here inside of Zapier. So in my case, if I go back to my landing page here, we are collecting their name and their email address. So back here inside of Zapier, we are collecting their email. So inside of email, I'm going to click in here and we are going to select email. After that, we are collecting their name. So I'm going to scroll down here to first name and then we are going to select the name here. Now, no matter what data that you are collecting inside of your ClickFunnels signup process, you can map it together here. So if I was collecting their phone number or their address or their city or anything else, all I have to do is select that field and map it together accordingly. All right. But since I'm only collecting their name and their email address, I have those selected and we're going to scroll to the very bottom and click on continue. And once we click on continue, we can now test the action. And once again, Zapier is just going to double check, make sure that they are connected successfully to Brilliant Directories and make sure they can pass that ClickFunnels information over to Brilliant Directories. And we can see it was a success. So we are going to go ahead and publish this Zap and we're going to publish and turn on. So once we get that Zap turned on, all we have to do now, it's live, it's ready to go. And we're going to test it just to make sure that it works. Okay. So we're going to head back over here to our opt-in and we're going to fill this out and make sure that the account that we submit here gets automatically added to Brilliant Directories. So for the name, we are going to enter Adam Jones and then we are going to enter our email as well. And then we are going to click on click here to get access and that is going to redirect us to our thank you page. Now, if I go back inside of our member community and we refresh this, we should see Adam Jones automatically added to our member community. And just like that, Adam Jones was successfully added automatically to our member community website without us having to do anything extra. Absolutely brilliant. And there we have it. This is a must have integration. Every ClickFunnels user should set up. So if you are ready to turn your ClickFunnels contacts into lifelong customers, just click the free trial link in the description below and you'll get instant access to start your own membership site and all of the growth strategies that we've got to offer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and we look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.